Brent Porcio, topvelocity.net. Pitching on Sierra Jackson. We're going to pair him up with Cody Hall. Take Jackson out of leg lift. Okay. So we can see here right before, well, it's not so much leg drive with Jackson, but it's opening and rotating. We'll kind of put him in the same position. You're going to see right before more leg drive here with Cody. We'll see a more linear force vector. We can see about 20 degrees more linear. Uh, we can see Cody 2 is more counter-rotated with the trunk. Also, it looks like he's sitting more into the glute because of that, sitting back into that glute, late to cock the arm. He's doing all the right things here to delay trunk power lower half. We can see here with Jackson, not much power in the lower half because he doesn't get linear. So he doesn't get that force vector linear enough. He's loading into that quad. His lift leg gets out quickly and opens quickly, and you see that back leg quick to follow in rotation. If you watch Cody, I mean, last minute, staying closed with the front foot, closed with the trunk, everything's closed off, and then when he goes into triple extension and drives that back ankle, knee, and hip flexor, he can get that off just before front foot strike. So that gives him a lot of power, not only that, a lot of hip rotation at front foot. We can see here with Jackson, this is just rotating. Foot still in the rubber, heels popping up, so you're not getting that same drive, those same forces through the hip. You can also see the chin is ahead of the belt buckle. Cody's chin is in line with the belt buckle. You can see he's doing a good job of not pulling open yet, uh, but because the chin is ahead of the belt buckle, this leg is a little bit more 90. And then something that I'm concerned with with arm issues is the elbows above the shoulder. When the elbow cocks above the shoulder, then it can create impingements. It's harder on that shoulder joint. So if we wait for the front leg to stabilize and the hip open, we get about right there. Cody gets about right there. So you definitely see at the moment of peak rotation for both, Cody's still more closed, more hip to shoulder separation. You can see because when Jackson hits front foot, not a lot of trunk power. The trunk rotates, but not a lot of trunk power going forward. The elbow has to push forward. Really another concern. So the cocking above the shoulder, elbow above the shoulder, concerning about the shoulder. Pushing elbow in front of face, increasing the valgus stress, concerned about the elbow, and also delays pronation. Okay. So because there's not a lot of momentum here, and at front foot, the trunk is early, and the chest doesn't really carry far like Cody's does with all that momentum. The arm is pushing to try to generate the velocity and finish the pitch. So really getting back to powering, getting the force vector linear, driving the front foot, delaying the trunk better, not cocking the arm so high, and then riding the trunk and even driving the front leg so the arm isn't doing all the work something that uh, Jackson really needs to work hard on. It's basically implementing the kinetic chain, all the core principles with top velocity, like the leg drives, the hip-to-shoulder separation. All that's going to be important for, uh, for you, Jackson, to really start to move energy correctly. And then also, too, from there, it'll allow you to start to accelerate more powerfully and build more velocity.